All right, man, we back. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella, Goodfella Sports TV. And let's talk a little bit about Christoph Zingas and the Mavericks. But first, Ricky Rubio was not happy that he got traded and nobody alerted him to being traded for Chris Paul and a few other pieces. Let's talk about that. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, check out the NBA Talk playlist. And also, make sure you check us out on Sportscaster um, tonight or Goodfella Sports TV. My Sportscaster link is in the description. It's the first link. It's a streaming platform. Just like YouTube, or if you want to watch me on YouTube, check out Goodfellow Sports TV 2.0. Um, we'll be doing a mock NBA mock draft tonight, so make sure you tap in for that. But let's get busy. Let's get to it. And pretty much Ricky Rubio was saying, uh, you know, it's a business, and he was voicing his frustration out on Twitter, and I'll put the link up or the tweet up. And my whole thing is, how could he not know he wasn't getting traded? If you're getting traded for Chris Paul, what you thought was going to happen? They just traded Schroeder. Gillisley can play the one or two. And you can swapped out for a point guard. You got to think you're getting swapped out for a point guard, right? So he was upset that he got traded for Chris Paul and nobody alerted him. So what he thought he was going to come off the bench or Chris Paul was going to come off the bench. Well, you know how much Chris Paul making over the next few years? It's a ton of money. So, I mean, he on OKC Thunder probably won't be competing for nothing. Next thing you know, Gillespie Alexander might be traded. So he may be over there just with Kelly Oubre playing for nothing. And when you on a you a team that's on the verge of doing great things. Ricky Rubio really improved his game and shooting a little bit. And you see a team about to turn that corner and you sacrifice over there and now Chris Paul is going to be able to reap the benefits. Why wouldn't you be mad? You know, they ain't doing no favors and trade you to the Clippers. Um, that would have been a good trade. Flip them to the, to the Clippers. They need a point guard, somebody that could facilitate. You traded him to a bottom feeder that really got, I think they got like 16 or 20 picks over the next, you know, five or six years. First round picks. I mean, I'll be upset too, but Ricky Rubio got to understand it's a business. And if he really upset, you know, retire and go finish playing over there, you know, across overseas. But, you know, he really never lived up to the hype where he was coming out of overseas. And, you know, I think one of the reasons was that the game changed. You see all these aggressive nine point guards playing point guard like Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard. Those niggas is two guards trying to play point guard. So, the game has changed where they want you to get the Dennis Smith Jr. type, the Luka Doncic, the Trey Young type of point guards. Rubio was a classic point guard. We talk about the guys that was born 10 or 15, 20 years too late. Rubio was born 10, 15, uh, 20 years too early. And unfortunately, you know, he just missed the era of classic point guards. And this an era where, you know, basically you ain't got to be a point guard to play the point guard position. So, man, that is what it is. Um, Chris Opposingas. He he's gonna be out till January first. We gonna be back out past January first. Um, he got a meniscus tear. He's still rehabbing it, and that's one of the things that players don't like. The turnaround is too quick. Where guys like Persingas, who would have healed over the offseason, would be ready by the time the season would start October, November ish. Now he won't be ready till after New Year's. He may be clear January first if there's no setbacks. So for the Dallas Mavericks, they gonna be out without Kristaps Persingas probably until February. Remember, it's not an 82 game season. You know, so honestly, they may be looking for a trade for a guy like Christian Wood, or they may be looking for, you know, a guy, a center that may get traded. So um, they may turn their eyes and try to get take the 18 pick and trade it to um, Oklahoma City and try to get Steven Adams. I mean, who knows? But, I mean, I think that's that team uh, would be on the brink if Persingas could stay healthy and they won't be on the brink of winning the championship with him. Uh, you know, he, he ain't even got in the weight room. Him and Luka need to be in the weight room, especially him. Um and him and the only thing that's gonna stop Luca and Luca from winning losing the winning the championship with or without Kristoff is Kristoff health and his health. Those are gonna be the two biggest things for him. They both can't stay healthy for nothing, uh, especially Kristoff. And you know, a lot of NBA players don't like to lift weights. Alan Iverson said, you know, the shit was too heavy. It was gonna mess up his shot. But you gotta if you're gonna last in this league, you gotta put on muscle somehow. You know, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, Kristoff able to come back. Had he stayed healthy, they probably would eliminate the Clippers in, in round one. And that's going to be their biggest Achilles heel is being healthy. And when you got two two superstars as the cornerstone of your franchise and not healthy, it's going to be very, very important, the guys you get to back up. And I think for them, that 18 pick a little bit more important than they think. It's going to be a lot of fantastic players in the round of 18th, but at what right our 18th pick for them in Wednesday 2020 NBA draft. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to check me out on Sportscaster tonight. Um, for the mock draft, it's the first link in the description. Uh, build a profile, you can comment, or you can watch us over at Goodfellow Sports TV 2.0 on YouTube. Can't go live on this channel. 
um, for a few months. So we're going to be over there. We switched it up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Cash app in the description. Want to make a want to check me out on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Got Facebook group link. All those links in the description. Twitter is the fastest way. Want to advertise your business on this channel? Hit me up. Uh, Twitter is the fastest way. Once again, appreciate the love and support. We're going to.